Hi, it's Mark. Just a quick informal video on my phone here uh, to show off a project we've been working on. Uh, this is a LED light piece for, um, for a bar in Detroit. Um, and uh, you can see this piece of acrylic here. In the end, all these LEDs will be functional on both sides and will all be covered with this acrylic piece here. This is a, a 3 8 inch uh, acrylic to color 2447. So what you're looking at here is an LED product, uh, generic available on Alibaba.com. I got mine from a supplier called Bond LED. Great, uh, delivered ahead of schedule, uh, and that was in the thick of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak right on the edge of uh, the Chinese New Year. We were trying to rush this thing along, and uh, you know we ended up going with this straight piece because it was... Um, uh, that was what was available based on the, the parts, you know, that that's what they could make just due to the, the pandemic situation. Um, and uh, basically, uh, this is all in all uh, 984 LEDs. And uh, all together, when I, when I get it together, I might take another video, and I assume it'll look awesome. Uh, so a little bit more about the BOM here. So this, this piece, um, it's not DMX based, it's has an IC in it. It's a little chip in there. It's called the UCS 1903. There's like 25 different varieties. They're all the same. Uh, you can pretty much drive them with the same protocol, but uh, what I'm using is the DMX King LED DMX 4 Pro. It's a very inexpensive piece. It actually has an SD card on the back that lets you record DMX into this. Uh, you can record basically, basically what you do is record an ArtNet broadcast. So you could even do this at home and bring it to the site by using uh, Wireshark to record the DMX broadcast and then put on the LED and just make the file structure right. Or you can record it directly uh, onto the ArtNet inputs and you can fire off the cues. So that means that at the site, we only have like 2048 channels of MA parameters licensed, but here we have a MA2 light. We can run all the all these pixels uh, and record into that SD card and make it really easy to just fire off cues, raise channel one, it goes to video one, turn channel one down, turn channel two up, it goes to video two, and just loops and loops and loops. And then you can also override it and loop, record stuff. Very, very flex. This is this piece. Oh, it also has, uh, it has four outputs. Each one can handle up to 680 pixels. Uh, it can take in you know, many D DMX universes over ArtNet or SSEN. There's even a DMX input, which can double as an ArtNet input or an ArtNet output. Uh, and, um, just fantastic value and uh, great. Uh, I had really good luck with these uh, with these pieces. Um, and the, the basic topology is power supply, which is right now I know completely dangerous. Uh, but in the actual product, it will be installed properly into a box, and this uh, distributes 12 volts. Uh, we got these um, uh, fuse boxes in here to. Uh, keep everything under control and bring all the power out here, distribute all the power. It's a fairly laborious process, but really the BOM is this guy. It's like $150. The power supplies are $100, $100 $200 each. And uh, this acrylic isn't cheap, uh, but it, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars a sheet. And then the, uh, the LEDs, all these LEDs probably cost less than $500. And then lumber and a lot of time a lot of time uh, but if you're looking to do something maybe for a church or a small club and you're you have time on your hands uh, this is a fantastic project um, I will update on this channel when I have the final product uh, because it'll look way cooler when it's finished painted black and then it's in a place that's painted black and the lights are all the rest of the lights are shining and going through the haze and this thing's fully covered in acrylic. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to post the full BOM down there, but uh, if you have any questions on the mapping or anything, go ahead, I'll, I'll try to answer. I, and to be honest, I didn't build most of this. My, my team, great people, did a great job on all this. Uh, I just kind of guided the process along. I had someone else program the console, so kind of just wrapped it all together myself, but I'd be happy to answer anyone's questions on this.